Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian here from Kaufman Home Automation. Just gonna show you real quick how to add in our plugs to Home Assistant and then a little bit of basic usage. So step one, start by plugging in the plug and you'll see the red LED blink here. That means that it can't connect to Wi-Fi and after 10 seconds, it's gonna put up its own Wi-Fi hotspot for you to connect to and configure. Step two, go ahead and connect to that hotspot. It's called Cough Plug Hotspot and it may take 20 or 30 seconds, so just refresh uh, your screen and be, be a little patient and it should show up real quick. Step three, once you're connected to that Wi-Fi hotspot is to enter in your Wi-Fi credentials uh, for your local network. Uh, if you're on an iOS or Android device, it should have prompted you to log into the Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, that's gonna bring up a, a page where you can select from any Wi-Fi network that was found or you just enter in any other credentials into the SSID field and the password field there. Uh, click save and then the plug will uh, reboot itself and connect to that Wi-Fi network. Step four, once the plug's connected to your local Wi-Fi, then Home Assistant's automatically gonna pick that up and it's gonna give you this notification here in the, in the menu. So click that, uh, click check it out and it'll go through to the integrations page where you'll see this card um, showing the ESP Home device is discovered. So configure that, submit, uh, select an area if you want, and then finish. And then here you go, you've got your new plug here in the ESP Home card. Go ahead and click through here, uh, click the device, uh, good, you keep going through the device and you'll get to this uh, Home Assistant uh, device page for the plug. Uh, you can see all the entities that the plug creates. Uh, you've got the main switch here, switch is the relay, uh, current for amperage, uh, this is a little binary sensor that shows that the plug's in use. Uh, here's the IP address on your Wi-Fi network of the plug. Uh, the amount of power being used. Uh, total daily power, how much power has been used today. Uh, and then here's a threshold for the number of watts for when the plug's in use here. And then finally the voltage. Step five, highly recommend that you do some renaming here. So um, start up here at the top is the Home Assistant device name. Um, so uh, let's just say we're going to use this for a bedroom fan. We'll rename it to a bedroom fan. And then uh, it'll ask if you want to rename everything. doesn't seem to work. I don't know what Home Assistant's doing there. But anyway, so then here's the entity for the uh, actual plug itself, the switch that turns on and off the plug. So we'll just call it bedroom fan, uh, switch dot bedroom fan. Update that. And then any of these that you want to use, go ahead and rename. If you're not going to use them, probably not that worthwhile. Uh, and then the other thing I would make sure you do is go back to the integrations page uh, within the ESP home card to find it. And then you can rename it by these three dots here. Uh, probably rename it the same thing, hit okay. And now you're good on renaming. Step six, probably the last thing you're going to want to do is add this thing to Lovelace. So click back through. Uh, get to the Home Assistant device page, and then at the bottom, it'll give you the option to add to Lovelace. Uh, now, by default, it wants to add everything, but uh, I'd say pick a different card and go with the button here. And if you want, you can use MDI Fan or whatever icon you want, and then just click Save there. Uh, then let's go back to the main page, and there you have your fan or uh, whatever you put on there, and uh, click to turn it on and off. Uh, it's available on your mobile interface, whatever. So. Uh, I think that's it. Hope you guys uh, enjoy your plugs. Hope they work for you. And uh, keep an eye out for more cool products. Uh, we're going to be releasing soon. Thanks.